You deserve a government that's going to continue to say, get vaccinated. And you know what? If you don't want to get vaccinated, that's your choice. But don't think you can get on a plane or a train beside vaccinated people. What if I showed you actual, hard, real statistics? that demonstrate that it is the hate Justin Trudeau stoked or at least empathized with last year that resulted in hate crimes against a very inconvenient group for him. Are you interested? Well, then keep watching. You know, I saw this very moronic clip the other day. Of course, the media in Canada didn't report on the very stupid thing that Justin Trudeau said, but the Americans did. The clip even turned up on Fox News' Tucker Carlson show. Here it is. Um, I'm just wondering, what do you think is behind the rise in threats that politicians are facing? We've been through a lot as a, as a country, as a world over these past years. Obviously, the pandemic, uh, increasing anxiety because of climate change, uh, transformations of our economy, um, rise in um, in mental health and addiction problems, particularly with the opioid uh, crisis that has been uh, ravaging communities right across the country. Um, it's a lot of pressure on a lot of people. And- ah, yes, yes, yes. Climate change. That's the reason we can't get along with each other. It has absolutely nothing to do with the perpetual stoking of hate by our Prime Minister, the man who called my fellow Canadians Things like this. On sent que la sécurité est accrue autour de vous. Là. On sent que c'est, euh, c'est plus dangereux peut-être en ce moment pour ben, vous. On est en, dans un moment difficile parce qu'on est en train de prendre des, des, des choix importants. Euh, on est en train de décider que oui, on va s'en sortir de cette pandémie par la vaccination. Puis on, sait, on en connaît tous des gens qui sont en train d'hésiter un petit peu. On va continuer d'essayer de les convaincre. Mais il y a aussi des gens qui sont farouchement opposés à la vaccination. Qui sont extrémistes. Qui ne croient pas dans la science, qui sont souvent misogynes, qui sont souvent racistes aussi. C'est un, 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 une petite, un petit groupe, mais qui prend de la place. Et là, il faut faire un choix en tant que leader, en tant que pays. Est-ce qu'on, est-ce qu'on tolère ces gens-là ou est-ce qu'on dit, ben voyons, la plupart des gens, presque 80 des Québécois, ont fait ce qu'il fallait faire, se sont fait vacciner. On veut revenir à, 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 aux choses qu'on aime faire. Ce n'est pas ces gens-là qui vont nous bloquer. Maintenant, on est dans une quatrième vague qui est, est presque entièrement des gens non vaccinés qui remplissent nos hôpitaux à travers le pays. Euh, à un moment donné, il faut, faut mettre son pied à terre pour dire, excusez-moi, là, mais il n'y a pas de débat sur la science. And yet, Trudeau just can't seem to figure out why we're all so deeply divided. Perhaps it's because he's doing the dividing. Seven years in power. Who do you think caused this radical shift in the political culture in Canada? For all the left-wing hyperbolists who spent 10 years crying about what an extreme fascist Stephen Harper was, Harper didn't go around shooting journalists with riot control guns. <laughs> or trampling grandmothers in the streets or arresting other grandmothers for opposing him like Justin Trudeau has done. Oh Oh my goodness, look what you did! Harper was prickly with the media, sure, but he didn't try to ban or control or censor them. But Justin Trudeau, he knows how to fix this political division in this country and the hate crimes following it because hate crimes are following it. Take a look at this from a couple of days ago. It's an official federal government announcement. Justin Trudeau announced an action plan for the two SLGBTQI plus community. I think they switched around some of the letters there from the last time I read something on this topic. Anyway, the action plan includes funding to build a more inclusive future for sexually diverse people, including funding for community organizations, criminal law reforms, funding for Canada's feminist international assistance policy, which sounds like funding for abortions abroad, abortion colonialism. There's also money for supporting Indigenous to SLGBTQI plus resilience and resurgence, including a dedicated two-spirit senior advisor position within the government. They want to engage everyone in Canada in fostering a more inclusive future by investing in awareness campaigns. Friends, I've seen how Justin Trudeau engages people and I want no part of it. Let's keep going. And they want to embed sexual minority issues in the work of the government of Canada. And this will all cost 
a hundred million dollars over the next five years. Look, I don't want anybody to face discrimination for any reason. That's why I'm against vaccine passports. But when you have been given the entire summer instead of just a week or a parade to celebrate your lifestyle, I'm pretty sure you're not as oppressed as you think you are. And I actually have the statistical data to prove it. So this isn't just my opinion. Let me get the backstory for you. Remember last year when the alleged discovery of 200 plus graves of children at a residential school in Kamloops sparked a summer of church burnings and anti-Christian violence. If you need a refresher on the topic, my friend Jorea Humphrey just made a documentary. It's called Kamloops, The Buried Truth, and it's about her attempts to get to the bottom of what really happened at Kamloops and her challenges in simply getting straight answers. You can find it at kamloopsdocumentary.com. But nobody needed straight answers or inconvenient facts or an investigation for that matter for Justin Trudeau to empathize with those who were burning our churches. He was empathizing with people committing anti-Christian terrorist arsons. Remember? One of my reflections is I understand the anger that's out there against the federal government, against institutions like the Catholic Church. It is uh, real and it is fully understandable given uh, the shameful history that we are all uh, becoming more and more aware of uh, and engaging ourselves to do better uh, as Canadians. But Justin Trudeau's sympathy for the devil? Let me show you what that looks like using government statistics. While sexual minorities get a special secretariat and a hundred million bucks in funding, Christians and specifically Catholics were on the receiving end of 260% increases in police reported hate crimes, four times more than the rise in hate crimes for sexual minorities. But no one will condemn this and no one in Trudeau's lapdog media will even tell you about this. Why? Us Catholics, we're inconvenient to the liberal agenda. We're pro-life and we're pro-family. And we certainly don't worship the government over God. You know, the opposite of Justin Trudeau. So I guess we just have it coming. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. If you'd like more information on my friend Dre Humphrey's documentary and to find out when in-person screenings of the documentary are, please be sure to check at kamloopsdocumentary.com.